y'all. This is your host, Rogue. Welcome back to World Games. We're going to continue our Reg experience today, so I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're here looking at our messages in a bottle. Read through them. June 1st, 1927. Yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate was sent directly to him, of course, but to my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious, I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel its humble jab at me from beyond the grave. Who is the type to do such a thing? Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. Number 9. 1927. He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced that I will find it dull and that his crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm overly needy. I know he needs time alone. I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto his boat. I think he has the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. My darling, I found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the wind, but now I feel almost whole again. There is one thing left to do. Throw me back. Artifact Manifest. Vessel the SY Grand Prize. Owner, Mr. Michael Schlolt. Holt Geld Cliffs. The Oaken Music Box. Purchased from the Antiquarium at Little Morrow for a parting price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has a letter J card on the other side. Otherwise, it is in reasonable condition. It has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism pending inspection by a locksmith. Wooden mask, carved tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Created for a pair of socks and a pocket watch. 12 piece tea set, bone china, 6 cups, 6 officers. Acquired from the eastern dealer, do not use. Jar earth. Jar containing earth from the meteor impact site, allegedly. Tattered receipt from Goldsmith and Son on 27 Little Morrow, December 22, 1926. We received the sum of $50.00 and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with the emeralds on a silver mounting. Additional notes, further $3.00 for custom engraving on reverse mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, December 23rd, for collection. Engraving is to be the following for J, my shining star. Dragon out. Close now. Nobody knows. Does he know? Descriptive temple? Forgive me. The only way he might understand. Let's help him. Let's stop him. Now, we are way over here in the twist dials. Oh. Okay, so we probably need to go down to the Stellar Basin. Probably need to go down there as well. We've got a lot of things we are currently actively doing. See, how do we have to place a mark? Let's undock. I had upgraded my engines on the last episodes and I forgot how fast this thing is. Oh, don't hit the stuff, don't hit the stuff. Dark. You're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It is not good. It 
cricket boulder with a small simple platform at its base. The twisted shape of a deformed fish that is barely recognizable. Rock caved in its This fish? I can't see what it kind of fish it is. I think I'm near the open ocean. I am. Yeah, we're... We're in the spooky times. following whatever light is ahead of me. Okay, I don't need the paranoia stuff. Whoa. What is that? See anything else over there? See, that's go towards this other little aisle. It has like a radio station on it. I actually don't think we should be out in these areas just yet, but it's kind of cool to explore where we're not supposed to go. Dude, bottle. What do we got at this new... It looks like a port. There's a researcher. Um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, oh, yes, I thought you had to look, but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you all the same. I have not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had time. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was here by post to this research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. <sighs> larger creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and I've been making it the best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at this list of specimens and drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect them all. Alright. I don't have any of those. Is there anything else? 
Tell me about yourself. What creature attacked you? Oh, it's all good. Go to their storage. Throw the box in. Throw the fancy boot. Undock. We're right here by the edge of the old fortress. drive around the exterior of this, then we'll we may risk it all and drive to the interior. Just wanna see what's like out here. So beautiful. Ooh, another ball. Don't do that. Um, I feel like I should go park somewhere for the night. That's taking me the wrong way. Yeah, we're gonna go right back to where we were. what we can maxed out. specimens. There's one of them. Uh, no, nothing else. Empty out some of our inventory. Storage, storage. There we go. And let's rest until day. That way we can actually see what is going on. Hard to uh, function around here in the dark. So dark. Got 
There's a bunch of little islands out here too. Step over that way. You're golden. Good an anchor flag. Kinda cool. Finding a bunch of stuff for upgrades. Got this little village. Actually, I think there's some right there too. I feel like we're still really early on and we're finding a lot of upgrades. It'll help our boat. It's already getting dark. Oh my goodness, this one's fast. Stone home sending ripples through the air finishing around it. Faint shapes dance finally on the surface, vanishing before your eyes. You focus, place your hand on the stone. Go, stone is cold and does not respond to your touch. Try loose your breathing. Ah, he's explosives. Oh, we can go in here now. That was my last bit of explosives, though. Yeah, this one's not easy. I don't have the explosives to make that one go away. Oh, am I in the- I am in the middle of the Probably shouldn't be chilling here in the center for right now. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows, it casually lunges out of the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. From bark. You jump off the boat in the high, high water. The dog stops chasing the fish and focuses on you. Half the dog. Too far away. Call for the dog. The dog wags his tail briefly but doesn't move. Throw some fish. He throws some scraps in the water near the dog. It pounces and splashes and swallows sea water. Billy approach. You wait towards the shore as you get near the dog backs up. A little ways and sits. So they approach. You start to walk close to the dog, but it runs away nervously and hides in the bushes. After a few moments, it merges again. You throw some fish for the dog. You throw the scraps from the sand. He eats them with mouthful of the sand. Fall for the dog. Make a soft, encouraging noise. The dog cautiously approaches. It stops just outside your reach. At the dog, and see your arm towards the dog and shies away and retreats up the shoreline. It looks at you expectantly and licks its lips. 
You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand, the dog approaches slowly, but Tim begins licking at them. Pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog, its eyes follow your hand, and it slowly understands you're not a threat. Pat the dog. Pat it again. Seems to be enjoying it. Pat it again. Did we just make a new best for him? I think so. So right now, you hear sloshing on the pole ice cutting through the water, you stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you, tilt the tail questioningly. Let it follow you. You continue. This time, the dog alongside, it tails wagging as it beats the water and crawls behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn and pull the dog aboard. Aww. Let the dog in the back. It walks briefly before curling in the ball. Maybe you could find the dog more permanent home. That's cool. We just got a pet. Maybe not a permanent pet, but a pet. Ooh, don't go crashing into that. southern part of the basin right now. Kind of shows like there's something here. I am not seeing. Definitely some down there. I don't want to go near that. Got a little bit of everything. Fish market. We don't have our fish on us, but we do have it here. Do I need that yield? Next to return to town, floating dock. We purchased that upgrade. There, over here. Done with that. Put you in storage, put you in storage. Shipyard. You got explosives. We will buy your explosives. Buy your other keys. Each of these storage. Nothing needs repaired right now. Luckily, I would love to switch to that. Four fifty. be faster.
Alright, that's good. Um, how do I do research? We got three parts. Tempered mesh. Like this one looks like it'd be the best, but it... Coast shallow, mangrove shallow, volcanic shallow. Alright, it's 4.30. Undock. Kind of curious. This may be a very stupid idea. The big tentacly thing. What's down there? Oh wow! You are a monster. Oh, I hope you go fast. I hope you go fast. Oh, shoot. Is this a different one that I did not get to earlier? It is. Old generator sputters and takes over. Laboratory. The laboratory is in ruins. The equipment research paper is shrown all over the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. Empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Inspect the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't use them for anything right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note that says, Not safe. Expect retaliation. Immediately evacuation of the floor. Where do you want to look? Look on the floor. Look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Book an item from the gadget floor. Where do you want to look? We're gonna leave. That don't. Oop. Got that. We don't really have much in the terms of nets, so that's why I was wanting to research those. Jet engine drive. I mean, that would be kind of cool. The faster we go, the easier we can get away from stuff. Take up a lot of room. Um, I don't know if I could do any more. I think that's about it. Unless I throw stuff in storage real quick. There is no access to storage. Crap.
what did we get? We got glasses. That's not good. Oh, oh, don't run out of the lane. Let us go drop off the other octopi. I think we have access to a storage room. Researcher first. Got the specimens you're after. Done. Uh, dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. I bound there to the researcher. She crouched down, pets the grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hand. Love the company. Are you sure? Yes, you should take the dog. Ah, oh, thank you. We're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands up and begins to retch and stomach heave in. The second player vomits a white glove on the floor. Then glistens through the mucus. And that's interesting. I suppose it's yours. Do you want it? Oh, sapphire ring. Clean it up. Don't worry about it. So storage. Got a sextant. Broken spectacles. Got a ring away. Piece of metal. I'll throw the octopi in here for now. And X set up. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. We are gonna dredge up some more. Good. Good. upgrade our boat a little bit. So if we can get some more inventory spots, it'd be a lot easier. Oh man, this one's fast. This one's really fast. survive being hit while dredging. These are the bigger octopus, I need the smaller octopi. Right, either. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and get one over here. Bigger octopus, it's like in between. Look inside. Scrap of paper that is opal earrings and wood. been all around this reef. What do we got going on over here? Blaze Lapa, personal collection of bees, that's what we're doing, let's look inside. Blooms. Hearing. Well, I'm gonna have to go throw all this in the store because I ain't got room for it. I almost found a treasure map. Hey, a shark. Storage is full. Oh, uh, don't hit the beach, don't hit the beach. You know, I pulled up wood from the wood debris stack. More wood. More See if I can upgrade anything. Definitely not bad.
Ooh. You can purchase that upgrade. So close to a new hole. Mm. Oh, you don't have to grab everything you see out there. This right bow isn't going anywhere fast. The I need to sell you some stuff. Cargo. Oh, I'm in repair. I'm not in. So we can go ahead and buy some. Alright, let's go. Is it fish market? All of us finish. Let's open that to storage. All right, we almost got everything to the map. Pots, engines. I think that's good. I'm done. Now that it's daytime, we can actually see. We'll drive around looking at stuff. Oh, what the heck? Like this is so close, I should go over here. Rock cuts by the way, poor large powerful fish. I can't make out what those are from here. that look like you. That's our
Sound trembles before you, unknown symbols, sudden. Rush, tail rushes through your bones, searching from your arm, a deep vision enters your mind. A spore floats in the water, adrift in the current. Fish feast in a frenzy, devour its kin. The spore lands in the thick silt of the sea floor. The roots stretch out to the seabed, growing, extending towards what lies beneath. I'm assuming you were the spore. Don't stay in one spot for too long. We've tried. Coral Grouper. We tried to catch what was over here. Don't run full speed into the dock. Drive around and see if we can find one last uh, shipwreck to see if you have a piece of the map. It's doing it at night is incredibly difficult. After that, we're going to go off somewhere else. Another ship. Quick lap around the inside. 
don't think you're the right. Not respond to touch. We'll go ahead and get another one of these big boys. I am legitly not seeing the other octopus at all. I need to find the little squid. It is now daytime. I'm real curious about what that's supposed to be. Like we can see a big island to the south. We know there's something down here. Whoa. You are a big boy. There's like a little base looking thing over here. down to investigate the ice field too it seems to have appeared out of nowhere. My best guess is it drifted from the sun. By the way I thought I'd set up a platoon here. I think my claim I know some old equipment mm. on the ice. Come check it out when you get a second. In the meantime I got new rods for so the perfect fishing in the ice around here. The cell the cell from the town Storage. I have no room to put that in storage. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Shipyard. Good glacial lands. Now how hard it is to find these. So now we got a jet engine drive. 
I see works that the traveling merchant came across a nearby iceberg inspecting some old pieces of metal you approach. Mm. So weird, this stuff is like old, like really old. She takes a large sheet metal half embedded in the ice, a thin layer of snow dislodges revealing lines of riveted oh. holes. You come here and look. You follow the small makeshift shelter ruined by years of harsh weather inside some schematics nailed to the table, still barely mm. legible. See how they angle the sheets, the lining, the metal, and the bow? Whoever was here, I think they were constructing an icebreaker. Can you make another one using these plans? Mm. Probably, but uh, let's see. Shredges thoroughly and paces the length of the metal scrap uh. ice. We got most of the basic materials, but of course we're missing the most mm. crucial pieces. An icebreaker needs a specifically tempered angled metal, as well as components designed to minimize the impact on your hold. Can't see any here, but whoever left all the stuff, maybe they left other pieces <laughs> elsewhere. Maybe you'll be able to find an old ship and salvage the icebreaker if they already built. That'd be convenient. Mm. Anyways, to build a new icebreaker, these parts are what we need. Okay. Sounds like we need to undock. We'll sell around this and then we'll check, try to check out the interior. the interior I'll need the icebreaker for sure. You hear the ice cracking, that's that's sketchy. The stone comes quiet. There are rivets we can get partially into. I'm kind of curious what is that here, if I can even catch it with what I have. Nope, oh, don't have the right equipment. You approach a hooded figure. You seem to be frozen spot. Hell rubs frosted heavy over time. Fishermen, the ice. You hear the jaws snap shut again from the cold. The ice takes form. The hood fig hooded figure withdraws a scroll from the robes, unfurls it, revealing a corrupted fish. An aberrated ice fish. I don't have the ability to fish that up yet. I guess for right now it'd be best to go back to the loading dock, throw what we got into there, do a few minor upgrades. We really need to run back to Greater Morrow. Sell the fisherman guy all of our crazy looking fish because I've been holding them for him. Hey, you're lit up now. Then chill rushes, a deep vision enters your mind. Darkness. The deep, thin, parts light as tooth and spine meet horn and nail. Two primal horses clashing at the bottom of the world. 
After an age of victor triumph, centering the other side of the impossibly large remnants that ascend towards the surface, slowly to be claimed by the sky. The broken body holds power still. Reds of crimson essence reach out from the water, stretching to unite the creatures once more. As the remains break the surface, the ice begins to form. Interesting. See if we can upgrade anything. This is the one I really would like to. Gives us four additional spots. Two additional rod spots. Looks like we're just going to be shy on engine. Looks like we got everything else. Oh, and money. I'm going to be shy on money. Alright, so we are done for now. Let's rest until the day so we can actually see. Super curious what's in all the eyes. Definitely need an icebreaker. There's a lot of areas with ice. We also need to put on an ice fishing line. I do not want to destroy our boat just trying to go into it. This is kind of big to have just sprawled up. They said it just appeared. just appear. Like, it would not have drifted something this size. Way too big. Attacked by the whispers. Oh, face out of nowhere.
paranoia. The sun trembles before you, oh no. Symbols begin to glow. Place your hand. The sun chill rushes through the narrow of your bones. Bridging up your arm, a deep vision enters your mind. Intruders, they invade our tiny wooden vessel, shouting and smashing. They cut and slice the angled metal, breaking against the skin of ice. Their meringue hearts beat in their afferents and pride, desires trivially twisted into new shapes. Shapes that might mend and restore. Shapes to replace what was lost down in the bark. Thought you're something good. We've gone almost around this entire thing. That was not smart. Last time I drove through one of those, I got a bunch of fish. items. Sharks. Which ice. Ah, uh, more debris. Done. I have to sell you fish or something. Mm. We'll go ahead and buy these. I think I'm gonna end up having to leave the area. In order to get what I need. 67 versus 52. Nice storage. peek into the icy area here. They can't go into that. 
can get into it. Don't have the right fishing gear. It's a little bow. Hmm. Photographer, huh? Don't like we met. A fish run, I presume. Please try to keep your engine noise to minimum. It tends to front and uh. lot. There's the narwhal somewhere in this ice field. I couldn't get any further in. I've been trying to take a picture from here with no luck. I tried scraping pieces of fish off the ice sheet over there to entice it, but I didn't have enough to hold its attention long enough grab. Hmm. Grass only glass. Suppose we have any fish to prepare to donate. Fill the space with any fish you'd like. I have no fishing. Oh, no, trying to go this way. Oh, we need our light. We are navigating th very thin icy pathways. Alright, so we really need to go to the morrow. It's dark and it's hard to see. Remember there is something to dredge up this way. Those are fish. Here we go. Wood needed fire. Boom, boom. I need to go straight north. Hard to see, we're at open sea. There's this huge island here. I'm curious if there's anything around it. What if they say, curiosity killed the cat? But it is a really big island. Another figure. Search a hooded figure, dirty rope obscure the feature except for black and hand. Fisherman deep calls respond. The voice startles the sound of fruit and alarm. It's an answer. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. The tap the shape depicted is a red snapper. You have a chest. And what do we got over here? I don't know if I can actually grab any of that, so I'll have to come back. Um, greater mark. Oh look, another chest. Kind of fun little exploration of the southern area. We 
need to re-enter the safe waters of the bay. fish to take back and sell instantly all of our crab pots um it's been so long since I've been here I'm forgetting where it was I haven't played this game for like three weeks fish mine sell all your fish Sell All right, we got just enough for upgrades. Definitely got some stuff we need to sell. Right. New hole. Purchase. We've upgraded to the biggest tier hole. Wow, we almost have everything needed to do the next upgrade. Actually, I was not expecting that. You need wood or engines. Or the engines. So I no longer need these scraps of refined metal be able to sell those now. Huh. How much would you give me? Nothing. Alright. Oh, research. Nothing for research. Still undocked. Check for all of our pods. Take all. Take all. Take all. Take all. Turn around and resell all these guys. Get us some nice money. Here. 
I have no way of putting that in. Guess we're gonna just have to discard it. This should give us the money we need to go do some more and fishing. Let's see, research. Coastal shallow oceanic. So what I have currently does volcanic. need to uh, some new crab pots potentially uh -huh. Here. this does hydraulic rod is oceanic the versatile rod, heat resistant, coastal, shallow, the jet drive would put that out. That does mangrove shallow, panic coastal. I don't know. We'll hold off on doing those for now. Got one research part. Fishmonger. For seven days, three days. Go ahead and we'll buy one of those. Try out some of the different crab pot. Gather some basic fish for some money. Things slithering into our carpet. Whoa. Want to try to get a few more. A few more fish pop turned in for some money.
that the more money we have going out, the more we could go do a bunch of side weird stuff. We all like catching and doing the weird stuff. Go ahead and take it. Can't take you right now. We can take you. And you. Bringing in a full home. Yeah, we are. Dude, our boat is fast. Alright. Sell all. That put us almost at 4k. Will you buy these now? You will not. I really only need like two of these on me. I'm curious if these do better than regular crabs. We do not have a lot of room in storage. I'm going to talk to someone to see if they want to buy any of that junk. Oh, while we're at it, we are going to. Got a pot around the entrance here. Okay, you have, we're a trader and a painter. Deliver flag. Mm. Kind of scrap of fabric. See, do you want to attach it now? And trader. Turning customer, symbol of appreciation. Pulls a book from a stack sitting on his desk, hands to you, it's covered in dust, otherwise in good condition. Bag of gold doubloons. Gold craft of a sapphire. Single doubloon. Fancy boot. The foreman at Iron Okay, I don't know where that is. Emerald ring. Broken spectacles. Sapphire ring. I thought there was somebody who wanted this back step. Can't remember. I want to reorganize this a little bit. No, it was like that. Yeah. That's already telling us a story. I need to sell my old engines. Oh yeah, sell the boot. Alright. We're gonna leave here. We're gonna come sell stuff at this uh, lady over here. And then figure out what we're gonna do from there.
Twin prop engine. Peculiar, improved. Weighted line, basic fishing pole. Awesome, I'd like to keep that. Moving stuff around. I currently have the versatile rod. Hydraulic rod. Trying to see if there's anything. I think that's good. I think we're going to go ahead and call it an episode there. So thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Peace and God bless.